LearnDash claims that it is the course builder that offers complete control and it is also the most trusted LMS. Is that true? This is the 2024 LearnDash review. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to test and see how easy it is to install. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to head over here to my account. So you wanna come over here to subscriptions. Now this is the area that you're going to find all your information about what you've purchased. So here it is here, I've got the LMS. I'm gonna go ahead and click on download. Okay, so while that is downloading, the next thing you wanna do is to copy your license key. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Okay, so let's install LearnDash and see how easy it is to install. So the first thing you wanna do is to head over here to plugins and then click on add new plugin. Now, by the way, I'm installing this on a brand new WordPress website. Next, I'm gonna click here on upload plugin because we had already downloaded it. So I'm gonna come over here to choose file and here it is, I'm gonna double click on it and then I'm gonna click on install now. Next, I'm gonna click on activate. Here's the welcome screen. So this is also a setup wizard. So if you wanted to go through a step-by-step -step process of setting this up, this could be a very good idea, especially if you are a beginner. So let's go ahead and see how easy, easy this is. So here you also see another claim, trusted by Fortune 500 and universities. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and click on get started. Okay, so this is where you wanna add your email address and license key. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna enter my license key here and validate. Click on next. So now it's asking me here a few questions and this is gonna help me set up my course, which is something I really, really like because if you're brand new to uh, creating an online course website, this stage could be very, very confusing, but it's giving us a step-by-step -step workflow, which is a very good thing. All right, so here, I'm gonna say simple, because I'm gonna create a simple website. And here it's asking me, how many courses are you planning to create? I'm gonna say just one for now. And do you wanna import a demo course? I'm gonna say no to that. So we also have other options here. If you want to uh, add a certificate, you can also click here to add a certificate, create group courses, you can also select that. So I'm just gonna choose these two here and click on next. And now it's asking me, do you want to charge for your courses? Now this could be a very good thing as well to charge for your courses because of course, chances are you wanna make money from your knowledge. All right, so here I'm gonna say yes and it's giving me two options. Now, I really like this because before, we never had these steps where it'll tell us you know, what to install along the way. So I like this idea that we have these stages where we can choose what to install. So if you want a basic setup, which is very, very easy, then you wanna go with Stripe. But if you want to add maybe sales funnels at a later stage using you know, other third-party software, you can use WooCommerce. So I'm gonna go with Stripe here. And then I'm also going to choose a country. So I'm gonna be using US dollars. So I'm gonna choose USA. But of course you can choose any country you want here. Click on next. So here it's just giving us a summary of what's gonna be installed. And now I'm gonna say save and complete. So it looks like we're going to continue on and set up our website. So at this stage now, we have completed this first stage, which is good. And now it's asking us to design our website. So this looks like it is an optional stage, but uh, if you're a beginner and you have a brand new website and this is your first time installing uh, LearnDash, maybe this could be the option which is best for you. And I like the fact that you're given these options. So what I'm gonna do for this is I am going to select a starter template. Go ahead and select that. Right, so we have some templates here which look really, really professional. I really like this. So this could be a very, very good starting point, especially if you're new to designing websites and you just wanna get up and running super fast. So as I'm scrolling through these, I can see there's you know, different types. Now you can also do a quick preview here, which is something that I really like because those little thumbnails are not big enough for you to go in and really see what is happening. Now look at that. I really, really love this design here. It's very simple. I can just go in and then change the content and uh, we are also going to see how easy it is to change that content. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one here. I'm just gonna close here at the top and then we are going to choose this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select. Now, I'd like to mention something here. If the template is to do with cooking, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't change it around and make it you know, whatever it is that you want. So you can choose any of these templates and change it around with your text and images. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and select, click on next, and now it's asking us to add our fonts, which is also really good because this saves me a lot of time. And especially if you're not a, you know, a designer, you can just go through here and see what works. So let's uh, play around with the different fonts here. Okay, I don't really like that. So let's say you are going to settle on this one right here. 
Now you can click on next. And then it's time now to choose your colors. And again, we have some color palettes. I really like how easy this flow is. So let's try this one here. So let's continue on. Now, this is a very big plus for me. I really like, oh, there's also dark mode. Very nice. Okay, let's try this one here. Again, this is dark mode. I really love the fact that I can go in here and choose my colors. It's really nice. Okay, so let's say this is my color palette and I can go on next. Okay, so this stage now, it's telling me that it's going to install the theme, the plugins and the content. So Learn Dash now is going through the process of setting up everything that I need for my website to look like the demo template that we had in place. So now that our website is complete, the next step here is to configure the payments. So you can do that by connecting to Stripe. So it looks like the process of setting up your online course website using the wizard is very, very easy. And that's a big thumbs up for that. All right, so the next step now is to see how easy it is to create our courses. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is to hover over here where it says Learn Dash, and I'm gonna click on courses. So it should be straightforward to come over here and add a course and let's see if that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add your course. Okay, I'm just gonna close out of here. So it's asking me for a course title. So I'm gonna say my cooking course. So I can come over here and add a featured image. So let's click here and see if we have something in our media library. So the one I'm gonna choose is this one right here. Click on set featured image. And it looks like I can add my course description here. Let's go ahead and paste it. Okay, brilliant. Now let's either save the draft or publish it. So for this, I'm gonna hit publish because I wanna see what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. Although this page doesn't look very exciting, it can be further customized to make it look the way you want. Now, let me tell you about something which I find very, very interesting, especially at this time where we have AI. And Learn Dash has AI, check this out. So over here, we can actually create a course outline using AI. And this is really, really good because of course, AI makes things much, much easier for us. And instead of spending so much time trying to work out all your chapters and so on. AI makes a very good job of summarizing it and helping you put this together. So over here, you click on uh, create course with AI. So this is where you need to have chat GPT connected. So you'd come over here and then you'd add your open AI key. Now, once you enter your key over here, pretty much you are good to go. And AI is now integrated into Learn Dash. This is something that was not there before. And I really welcome this. Now to add all our lessons, uh, we need to come over here to this tab called Builder. So let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, you wanna go in now and start adding your section heading. So these are, uh, let's say the titling of each chapter. So we can call this module one, add section heading. So that's pretty straightforward. We can also add another one, module two. Now let's say we wanted to start adding all our lessons. Then uh, what you'd need to do is to click here on add new lesson and we can give this a lesson title. So this one here could be a welcome, add lesson. Then you can add another one, how to light a fire, add lesson. Let's see if this is draggable. So let's say I want to add these two onto module one. Can we do that? So it looks like we can drag and drop it. I think this is a very good thing. So it is very, very easy to uh, align and set your uh, lessons in the right modules. I really like this, this is very good. Okay, so let's hit update. Now it's time to, in fact, let's view the course and see what it looks like now. Okay, so you notice now that we have this welcome and how to light a fire. So this is now getting populated on our course page here. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to start adding the content into the actual lessons. And to do that, you just click on edit and we're gonna leave the page, that's fine. So you can add several uh, information here. You can either add text, video, and so on. So for this example here, I'm gonna add just the text like that. And let me hit update. Okay, let's view the lesson. And there we go. So this is just my basic lesson with just the text. In the next example, let's see how easy it is to add video. Now before we add the video, what happens if we want to add say material that goes with the actual lesson? Well, we have the settings tab, and we can actually add materials here on this lesson. So I can go in here and um, maybe add a bit of text again. And maybe I may want to add a URL. In this case, I'm gonna add a blank link and hit enter and then save. 
Now there's more information here. There's video progression. There's assignment uploads. There is a forced lesson timer. So there's a lot that you can do for each lesson. And I really, really like that we have all this flexibility. So over here on lesson access settings, we also have more options. So this can be enrollment based. So you can just specify how many days uh, after the course enrollment, if you wanted to specific dates. And then here we have your course grid settings. So as you can see here, each lesson has further uh, information that you can go in and customize. And I really like that we can go deep into all these different uh, areas and make our customizations. So let's go ahead and click on update. So our, again, I want to see what this looks like now that we've added that uh, materials tab now look at that so we have our lesson here and then we also have materials and this is where if i wanted to add let's say uh, any uploads this is the section where all my students can you know get all their uploads i mean all their pdfs or whatever it is that goes with that lesson fantastic move i really like this now we are on our lesson here on how to light a fire but this time i want to do something different i want to add a video so i'm going to come over here to vimeo and uh, copy a link from here and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna come back over here and add it. So to do this, you wanna click on this plus button. So there are several ways you can add this. So I'm just gonna add Vimeo, which is right here. And I'm gonna add it as a, a URL like that. And sure enough, now my video is showing. I'm gonna click on update. So here's a quick note. If you want to host videos on your online course uh, website, you want to make sure that you are hosting them separately. You don't want to have them on your actual website because this can slow down your website. So there are services like Vimeo, of course, Wistier, uh, Loom, and so on. So this is the best way to do this. I'm going to come over here, view lesson. And again, this looks really nice. I like that. Very, very simple. And if you want to go to the previous lesson, you can just click over here. We have beautiful buttons here, which show you how to navigate your website. So now we have our two lessons here. Now for this particular course, we also have further settings, which I really, really like now. Let's take a look and see what happens here when we go to extend access. So over here, you can add new expiration date. So let's say you've set up an expiration date for this course, you can extend it over here. And you can also extend access for users. Now at the moment, we don't have any because no one is uh, enrolled. But this is an option which is also available. Now let's head over here to settings. Now this is where you can set up your course. Now if you want to make it paid, you can just come over here and set it on buy now. You can set the course price here. So let's say this is 197 and then you can add your URL. So this URL will be a URL to your sales page. And then on that sales page, when they click buy now, then that takes them to Stripe to, to complete the payment. So that's the option you have here. We also have an option for free if you want to make it access to accessible to everyone or you want to keep it open here. This way it's not even protected at all. You can also set uh, recurring and you can also set it up as closed. So we also have further things here or further options. We have course prerequisites. So let's say you had a course or more courses on your site and you wanted people to uh, take a specific course before they jump onto this one here. This is where you can come over here and you know add your course. I think that is a very, very good feature. Over here now, we also have course points. So you can specify uh, how many points are required to access the course or awarded on completion. So let's say you want to give 50 points for this course. You can go ahead and do that. And then here we also have our course ex expiration dates, uh, start date, end date. And then we also have the student limit. So let's say you want to have, uh, let's say 100 students. You can specify here how many students that you want. Okay, so further down here, we also have our course materials and we also have a course certificate. So you can download, you know, your certificate here and add it. So when someone completes this course, they will have that certificate. Fantastic. I really love this. And then here we also have our course progression. Uh, they can either go in a linear form. Now, linear form means they have to complete lesson uh, one after the other. And then free form is where they can just go in and uh, choose whatever lesson they want to go randomly and still complete the course. So this is really, really good. And I really like the fact that we have all these options here that allow us to set our courses. So it looks like we have another settings tab. So if we come over here, there's more things to go in and configure. And this is your accent color. So you can come over here and add your colors that work with your brand. And you can just update them over here. So that's pretty straightforward. 
Next, we also have what is known as focus mode. So at the moment, when we take a look at our lesson here, this is what it looks like. So maybe this could be, you know, pretty basic and boring. But once you come over here now and change this to focus mode, uh, notice that we can adjust also our size here. So I normally go with 1180. Now, if I click on save, now notice what happens when I come over here to this lesson and refresh this page. Look at that. Now, this looks way much modern and this looks really, really nice. So just by a click of a button, I was able to go in here and now have this layout. Now we can further customize this by coming over here, adding our logo here, and this is gonna make it look really, really nice. But notice that just by changing just one item, I was able to go into focus mode and this is a much better learning experience. So I can also collapse this and now I have more screen real estate. This is really, really nice. On the top here, we also have our mark as complete. So as you can see here, Learn Dash from what I've noticed so far is it looks like it doesn't have a lot of features, but it has a lot of things hidden in there. You just need to know where they are and you can really super customize your online course website. All right, so back over here, let's take a look at uh, more items. So here we have our registration login. So this is where you can specify where your students can log in. So here you can request for our first name and last name, which is uh, pretty straightforward. Here, we this is where you set up your, all your payments. So if you're using Stripe, you can click here and activate it. If you want to use PayPal, this way you can you know set it up and then you can manage it over here. So this is how you get to connect to uh, Stripe. Next, you have your emails. So this is where you have your emails that get sent out when someone purchases a course uh, with a group purchase you know, success and so on. And this is where you get your purchase invoice. So let's say it's uh, Black Friday or any time of the year where you want to offer some coupons. Are we able to do this with LearnDash? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. So we also have an option here on the side which says coupons. So you can add your first coupon by clicking over here and then you can give this a name. So I'm gonna call this Black. For Black Friday, maybe you're giving a 50% off. So let's call this Black 50. And then here you can give this uh, coupon code. In fact, the coupon code can also be black 50 like that. So here we can set it as a flat rate or percentage. So let's set it up as a percentage here. The amount is 50. Uh, number of redemptions, let's say 50 or even 500. Let's go with 500. And now we can specify your start date. So certificates can also be very, very important. So if I come over here, you're going to notice that again, it is very easy to create your first certificate. And there's also a video here that shows you. Now, LearnDash is also super powerful because you can add your quizzes, you can also add questions and so on to make your course even more interactive. Now, what I'm really curious about is what if you want to add more functionality to LearnDash and make it even more powerful? Do we have that option? And it looks like there is because there's an option here for add-ons. And what I really like about this is these are absolutely free. So you don't have to go in and purchase anything. So these are the ones that are absolutely free. So we have uh, reports here, we have course reviews, we also have uh, Learn Dash migration, achievements. So if you want your uh, students to uh, note, see their badges and so on, you can install achievements. So as I'm clicking on these, this is how you're going to easily just add them onto your uh, online course website. So as you can see here, there's quite a lot. And what you could also do here is go to a third party and this is where you get the paid ones. So all these also work with LearnDash, which is pretty cool. So this is BuddyBoss, you can also add WP Fusion and so on. So it works really, really well and there's a lot of features. You can really make your online course website very, very functional. So it looks like LearnDash really holds up to the claims and it is very, very powerful, very, very flexible. And I would highly recommend it, especially if you're a beginner and you just wanna get up and running super fast. I mean, you can just use the step-by-step -step process to set it all up. Now, I'm also going to do another uh, set of tutorials where I'll be showing you how to set it up on your own existing website because in this example here, we used a template, but let's say you're running Divi, let's say you're running other page builders. How do you install it? Well, it's very, very easy. So look out for those tutorials. But for now, I would highly recommend LearnDash. I will leave a link to LearnDash in the video description below. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.